guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another Dollar Tree haul. Um, I'm just trying to get comfortable here. I'm sitting at the kitchen table. So, I guess we will just get right into it. Um, so here goes nothing. The first thing I picked up were a couple more of these no-nonsense socks. I had a really hard time finding these around Christmas time. Um, and I just finally found these, there's two here that I got, so two different, um, two more styles. I found four before Christmas, and now I found two more. So, these are low-cut socks, not the, um, mid-calf. They are just in a gray. They're not, they're thick, um... But not like super, super thick, so probably more what I would like myself. Um, so I got those ones. And then I got these ones, which are the mid-calf ones. And you can see here in the, the tags the difference in the size. So this one's the uh, mid-calf and this one's the low. So you can see the difference. Um, and then these ones are, again, longer, obviously. And they are in an olive green color. And they have this like really cool knitting on the top here. I thought that was kind of cute. Okay. The next thing that I picked up were these, was this um, stamp set here. And I just thought they was really cute with all the different flowers. Um, rose and the hello. Kind of reminds me of spring. And you know I'm ready for spring. Our weather here has been crazy in New York. Um, on my back deck right now, I probably have over a foot and a half of snow. And that doesn't count what's melted <laughs> since it started here. Um, and it's snowing again now. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry. So, yes, I got these stamps. <laughs> um, and I think I can use them for pocket letters. I was talking about the weather. So... Last week, or actually up until today, our temperature, like yesterday, was like 2 degrees here. So today we had a heat wave of like 20 degrees. So it was actually pretty nice out, believe it or not, compared to the 2 degrees it was it has been all last week. So um, the problem with that, with the weather being that, um, the temperature being that low is that it's, once there's precipitation in the air, it's snow. Like there's no doubt about it, or it's freezing rain. So, um... And as I said before, my boyfriend does snow removal, so he's constantly gone. So any chance I get to get out, I try to take it. So I went to the Dollar Tree today. I went to Walmart yesterday, which I will do a haul on my Christmas clearance stuff I had picked up also. And yeah, so let's get back into this haul. One second. Okay. So the next thing I picked up were just these um, batteries. I need in here at the house. Um, so the next thing, whoa, easy thing I picked up was the 76 count um, stickers by Jot. And I plan on using some of these in um, maybe a planner, um, my planner, or I'm not sure, maybe I'll cut some up and send them and put them in pocket letters. I just thought they were really cute. Um, and then I picked up these stickers as well, and these have 300 pieces, 300 count, assorted, and they are also by Jot. Um, very girly, really cute. I can't, I don't usually buy stickers, um, just because I don't, if I, I feel like my three-year-old will get to them before I do. And then I won't have them anymore, so I usually try try to buy. I mean, I always buy her her own stickers, but she always wants mommies. So hopefully, I can hide those ones from her. With like, I mean, I'll put them in my planner stuff. Um, the next thing that I picked up were these take it to go mugs. Whoa, sorry guys, looks like I'm throwing stuff at you. I got them in purple, blue, and green or teal. Um, they're really cute. I feel like they, uh, 
I feel like when I watch other people haul them, they all look so much lighter than what I'm looking at. But that's okay. They're nice. Even if I don't take it to go, I can just use it at home. Because they're like just that. I mean, they're that pretty much sturdy of a cup. Which is kind of cool. And for a dollar, you get two in each package. So I think I'm going to give these ones to my mom. Because she always takes coffee to work. Um, and then my dad as well. But I'm going to give him the blue ones. Because I don't think he's going to want to carry a purple mug. Okay, the next thing that I picked up, if I can get it, is this, um, what is this, a reusable bag, a tote bag, and it just says, sip back and relax, which I thought was so cute. Um, I am not keeping this, I am sending this out to a, another YouTuber that I watch regularly, um, which is, uh, Lemonade Mom, and I know that she's always looking, um, or I've seen her haul before, rather, um, lemonade or lemon items. So I thought that was really cute and I am going to be shipping that out to her next week. Uh, along with some other fr um, friend mail that I have um, packaged and ready to ship. I just have to make it to the post office. So the next thing I picked up was this little love sign. Um, I've seen a lot of people haul these too. Um, I think it's cute. Super cute. And I can't wait to put it up. Um, I think I'm going to wait until, like, I don't know if I'm going to do Valentine's Day because these are, butterflies are not red or pink. Um, but I think this is a cute, I mean, year-round decoration anyways, I guess. But if I have to put something up for Valentine's Day or this, I'll probably put up a plaque for Valentine's Day. So this one might go out in springtime because these remind me, these colors remind me more of the spring colors. Okay. Let's see what else did I get. We also picked up one of these um, handy flame lighters. Um, I don't use a lot of candles, but when I do, it's always a pain. We also have a birthday party tomorrow that we're throwing for my three-year-old. Um, so this will be for cake candles. Um, I also picked up this. It's an ashtray, but I keep little trinkets in these things um, up on my nightstand so it's just always nice to have they're plastic they're heavy they're heavy duty so they're nice little holders for little things that I need them for um lighter okay so the next thing I got and I had already taken the things off actually it's right right here so I'll just stick it back on here <laughs> um is this Jot Organizer case. I had seen um, Erica's Life, or Erica from Erica's Life, um, haul these in one of her Dollar Tree videos. Um, and I was like, oh wow, that's really cool. I wish that my Dollar Tree kit would carry them. And I went today and they had four of them. So I picked up this one. I picked up two of them. And this is all of the washi that came in that 40-piece set that I did a video on showing you and in my planner box. So I've got all of them here. Like up here I've got my... And I tried to separate them the best I could so that, again, I'm trying to be more organized. And I think that this is a great organizational tool, especially for something like this. I would have never thought of, until she mentioned, honestly, putting this in there, I would have never thought of it. I don't think I ever would have. So this is like all my Christmas... And then I got my, like, spring and Easter here, and then some more spring and Easter-y type ones, like with the raindrops and just the, the color schemes. And then this one is, um, I've got, like, Halloween up here, and then I got, like, unicorn and other stuff over here that I really like. And then these are, these actually five are all from my planner set, just these three, these five here, so I wanted to keep those together. They are themed more towards the colors that go in my, that my planner is, and the pages the color on the planner of my, the color on the pages of my planner. I knew I was going to get it out sometime. Uh, and then I got like Valentine's Day down here. Right there. This is like, I don't know what a bug centipede maybe. Cockroach. I have no idea what kind of bug that is or when I'll use it. That kind of washi tape. And then I got like these over here with the little shells. And then just some oddball ones. So... I thought those were really cute, and once I saw her haul them, I put them on my wish list right away, and I found them today. 
score. So I think I've got four more things. So the next two things I got were just activities for my um, three-year-old to do. She likes to sit at the table with me regardless of what I'm doing. Oh, that's so weird. There's like a little yellow. Okay. Um, so she likes to sit at the table with me. And this is a... It does say 4+, plus, but she will be um, supervised. This is just a little uh, Magic Art Scratchers. So it comes with the pictures and the little scratcher thing. It looks like a guitar pick. And then you just scratch it off and it... I guess it has um, the colors on it and stuff on the other side. I'm not sure. I have no idea. But I thought it would be something fun for her to sit at the table and do. Um, the next thing I picked up was this Frozen Finish the, S Finish the Sticker Scene. So this one's got... Okay, so it comes with... Three scenes, one sticker sheet, and three crayons. So, it says finish the scene with stickers. So, like, you can see the, the picture, and then it's got, like, these little gray things here. And I believe that you have to use the stickers off of this paper and put them on there. I'm just trying to look to see. Let me see if I can do that more here. It's hard with the crayons in front of the sticker sheet. But I got that for something for her to do as well. And this is really three activities because there's three different sheets in here. So we'll do one sheet and I'll make sure we have the stickers pulled off already of the sticker sheet so she doesn't try to use them all. And then she can use these crayons and we've got plenty of crayons. I got a whole big drawer full of crayons and markers and colored pencils. Okay, so then the next two things I got were candles. And I've seen a lot of people haul these and... I know people rave about the old Williamsburg candles. I, however, have burned the praline pecan, the cinnamon bun, cinnamon rolls. The pecan one. I don't know. And then I have a bourbon salt and caramel that I haven't burned yet. But it, with the praline pecan and the cinnamon bun, I really, everyone's like, oh, great throws. But I'm not smelling it. So I don't know if it's something wrong with, like, my sinuses or if they're just not that great. I mean, I have an open, a fairly open house, and I burn them on top of my stove. Um, so my kitchen's not huge, but big enough. And then off my kitchen, and this room over here is like a, what's a what, what, what is a dining room, but we use it as a toy room for the girls. And then my living room is also open to that room. So I don't know if it's just because there's so much space and it's just not filling it. But even when I walk into the kitchen, I don't smell it. But I'm going to keep buying them and keep trying them. So hopefully, if nothing else, when I'm done burning them, I'll have the jars, which I do have, and I, I have plans for these as well. <laughs> so this one is oh, the um, Italian Ice. This one might have a good throw. It's very spring-scented. It does almost smell like a cucumber melon scent. Which I actually adore. But like just taking the top off real quick. You can smell it instantly. Um, so I might try to burn this one tonight. And see how there was on that one. And then I know a lot of people were looking for these. I think it's this one. It, I know people had the, the watermelon one. Which I haven't found yet. And then we've got... Um, I'm pretty sure that this and this, these two were the other ones in the line. They just didn't have the watermelon. And this one I actually had to dig. They had the box of candles and then other candles sitting on top of it. So I had to pull all those out and then dig into the box to get this one. And this is the strawberries and cream. And for a long time I thought it was strawberry ice cream that they were hauling. So if it is strawberry ice cream, let me know so I know I got the wrong candle. Um... But this one does smell good, too. It's not really, really my cup of tea. Like, I would much rather burn that Italian ice one. But, who knows? We'll see. And, honestly, if nothing else, I might be able to 
what I might do to make the throw better on these is melt them down, um, pour the wax out into um, almost like ice cube trays, and then to make my like make my make my own wax melts for my warmer, which is what I prefer to use. So, and then I still have the jars when I'm done. So maybe I will maybe I'll do that instead. But that was everything I got, guys. Um, oh, this smells so good. I'm gonna light it right now. Um, so I will be doing my Walmart clearance, Christmas clearance haul tonight of just a few things that I got on the fifty percent off. Um, I have this lighter out of here. If I can get back before everything's gone. I will, um, I will share what I get then if I find anything else. There were a few things that they had at Walmart that I didn't want to get at 50% off, and I decided I'd just wait and see if I could get it at 75 instead of, um, 50. And I'm also going to go to Target. I am on the hunt for, and it's probably too late, they're probably already all gone, I need a... I want a cookies for Santa plate with a like a plate and mug set for Santa from um for my girls. They're like I said, three, just turned three and one and a half. So within the next you know, next year uh, my three year old will be four and she'll be much more into Christmas and my one and a half year old will be also more into Christmas. So and the you know, the more into it they get, the more they understand that Santa comes and all the other 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 stuff and blah blah blah. So I wanted to get one of those, um, but hopefully I can find one of those at Target. I know that, I believe that right now they are at their 70% off, but I've been vehicle-less for, you know, I didn't have time to go today. I only had time to make a very quick Dollar Tree haul, and that was it. So, um, thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for watching this video. If you are not subscribed, please go ahead and, and subscribe. Hit the little bell button to be notified whenever I upload a new video, and... That's it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.